In a world where saving lives can be perilous, one man's courageous act to rescue a trapped tigress touched the depths of compassion. The profound way she repaid him will leave an indelible mark on your soul. For most of us, finding employment to sustain our livelihoods while pursuing our passions is a daunting task. However, Alexander, also known as Alex among his acquaintances, grew up in a rural area with scarce opportunities. Education was a luxury in Alexander's hometown, often necessitating children to venture far from home to fulfill their aspirations. Being the sole son, his family had hopes of sending him away to school, providing him with the means to realize his dreams. Unfortunately, tragedy struck when Alexander's father passed away during his teenage years, compelling him to return home. His mother, left to care for his younger sisters, desperately needed assistance. Without hesitation, Alexander made the decision to come back home and embark on the arduous quest for employment. Limited options prevailed in his area, with one possibility being a position at a small factory located on the outskirts of town. However, the mere thought of toiling away indoors, devoid of ample windows to glimpse the enchanting beauty of their scenic surroundings, seemed nothing short of torment to Alex. Thankfully, another prospect emerged about half an hour away, an awe-inspiring protected rainforest. This sanctuary employed park rangers responsible for safeguarding the area and ensuring the well-being of its inhabitants, including several endangered species. Among the remarkable creatures dwelling within this sanctuary were magnificent tigers. Though not yet on the brink of extinction at that time, the decline in their population had already begun alarming those who cherished these majestic beings. Driven by his deep love for wildlife and a desire to protect these endangered tigers from ruthless poachers and the misguided perceptions surrounding them, Alexander recognized this opportunity as a calling. Embracing the vast natural beauty of his surroundings, he accepted the position as a ranger without hesitation. Little did Alexander know that his decision would ignite an extraordinary bond with one particular tigress. Fate intervened, presenting him with a unique opportunity to save her from excruciating pain and confinement. He fearlessly undertook the perilous task of liberating her, risking his own safety in the process. The tigress, liberated from her torment, expressed her gratitude in ways that transcend words. With every glance, every purr, and every gentle touch, she conveyed a profound connection that touched the depths of Alexander's soul. Their bond became a testament to the incredible capacity of animals to reciprocate acts of kindness, reminding us of the interwoven tapestry of life on this planet. Alexander's journey serves as a powerful reminder that pursuing a career aligned with one's passion can be a triumph in itself. Despite the limited opportunities he faced in his rural upbringing, he defied the norm, choosing a path that celebrated the beauty of nature while protecting its vulnerable inhabitants. In his pursuit, he not only discovered fulfillment but also became a guardian of the earth, a shining example of how one individual's actions can make an extraordinary difference in the world. Alex, without consulting his mother, took the initiative to apply for a position as a ranger at the local park. Impressed by his enthusiasm and dedication to his family, the head ranger conducted an interview with the young man. Although Alex lacked experience, the park authorities recognized his potential and decided to give him a chance. They assured him that they would provide the necessary training to become a skilled ranger. To be closer to his family, Alex was assigned to live in one of the huts near the forest, ensuring he could respond quickly if they needed him. Overwhelmed with excitement, Alex eagerly shared the news with his mother, only to receive a surprising response. His mother was deeply concerned and unhappy about his new job. She dreaded the thought of her child working in the forest, as she was well aware of the many dangers it held. Venomous creatures such as snakes and spiders, poisonous plants that could cause harm with mere contact, and the potential for attacks from various wild animals were among the perils lurking within the forest. Unlike the smaller natural areas around their town where they used to play, the forest was an entirely different and treacherous environment. Although Alex had only hiked there a few times with friends, he acknowledged that he still had much to learn about the forest and its inhabitants. Despite her fears, Alex assured his mother that he would prioritize safety, undergo thorough training, and be cautious in his new role as a ranger. 
Gradually, Alex's mother began to warm up to the idea after witnessing his determination and understanding of the risks involved. Realizing that her child had grown into an adult capable of making his own decisions, she reluctantly gave him her blessing. Alex cherished his mother's support and appreciated her concerns. Without wasting any time, Alex gathered his belongings and relocated to one of the ranger cabins near the forest, ready to embark on his exciting new adventure. His days became a whirlwind of activity as he immersed himself in his work, eagerly absorbing knowledge from experienced rangers who took him out into the field each day. The training he received equipped him with valuable skills and deepened his passion for the captivating beauty of the forest. In conclusion, Alex's decision to become a ranger was met with initial resistance from his mother due to the inherent dangers of the forest. However, with reassurances of his commitment to safety and proper training, she eventually gave her consent. With unwavering determination, Alex embarked on his new journey, embracing the challenges and thrills that awaited him in the vast expanse of the forest. He had to undergo firearms training to be proficient in shooting guns. The forest rangers typically carry tranquilizer guns to handle situations where animals became aggressive. However, the same safety rules applied to these weapons as real firearms, so he needed to familiarize himself with their workings. Additionally, he had numerous handbooks to study, which taught him about the local wildlife and plants, as well as how to react in various situations. He cherished every moment of his little free time, often visiting his family. But all the hard work was worth it, as he quickly completed the course and was appointed as a full-time ranger. Finally, he would earn a real salary and be able to support his family. Moreover, he was entrusted with the responsibility of patrolling the park alone and guiding groups of tourists during their visits. It was an exhilarating adventure. One day, distressing reports emerged about poachers and their traps inside the park. The rangers geared up, carrying both firearms for self-defense and tranquilizers to safely subdue injured animals. They ventured into the forest, determined to make it safe again. Although Alex was excited, he felt a tinge of nervousness. It was his first encounter with poachers, and he was alone in facing them. He meticulously searched the area until he stumbled upon a horrifying sight, a tiger caught in a steel trap set by the poachers. These traps were designed to capture animals they sought to exploit. The tiger appeared to be in immense pain, but surprisingly, she gazed at Alex with a calm demeanor, as though recognizing that he was there to help. Initially, Alex reached for a tranquilizer dart, intending to sedate the tiger and safely release her from the trap. However, as he locked eyes with the tiger, something within him stirred. He couldn't bring himself to pull the trigger. The tiger flinched at the sight of the gun, a flicker of mistrust in her eyes. In that crucial moment, Alex made a daring decision. He chose to put the gun down, abandoning the safe route, and opted for a significant risk. Against everything he had been taught, he made a bold decision to trust his instincts. Approaching the tiger cautiously, he remained vigilant for any signs of danger. Surprisingly, as he extended his hand, the tiger licked it. Whether the tiger recognized Alex's uniform as a symbol of friendship or sensed his caring nature, it was unclear. Nevertheless, a bond of trust was formed. With great care, Alex helped the tiger free herself from a steel ring that had caused minor scratches on her neck. Once liberated, the tiger observed Alex for a few moments before darting off into the distance. Alex applied ointment to the tiger's wounds, an act he would forever treasure. Weeks later, the rangers were summoned to aid a distressed animal deep within an unfamiliar part of the forest. As Alex ventured alone into the unknown, he gradually realized he had lost his way. Panic set in as darkness loomed, and he doubted whether the other rangers would find him. Anxiety consumed him until, suddenly, a majestic tiger emerged from the shadows. To his astonishment, it was the very same tiger he had previously rescued. Locking eyes with her, Alex comprehended that this tiger sought to repay his kindness. Gently tugging at his pants, she beckoned him to follow. Slowly and considerately, she led him back to his original search location. 
She must have been observing him from the moment he entered the forest and intuitively knew when he found himself in peril. Ensuring his safety, she guided him back to the refuge of his vehicle. Before departing, the tiger licked his hand, conveying reassurance and protection. Her message was clear, he would be fine. As the other rangers arrived, they attended to the injured animals they had been summoned for, including the one the tiger had brought them. In this extraordinary tale, the selflessness and understanding between human and animal form a profound connection. It serves as a reminder of the power of compassion and the unspoken bonds that can develop between unlikely friends. It seemed everyone was going to be safe that evening thanks for watching join us again for more incredible stories. What's going on? If it's your first time here and you want to know some new stories that will definitely make you smarter, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you won't miss anything. Human beings are not living alone on this planet. We share it with all other animals. Just as we affect other animals, they also affect us, albeit not to the same degree. To remind ourselves that we are not the largest and best creatures on this planet, we listed the most dangerous animals in the world, tigers. They live in Asia and are the felines that have killed the most humans in history. Tiger attacks on humans have become particularly frequent in areas with large numbers of tigers. They have to contend with growing human populations. At least 373,000 people were killed by tigers in India. Between 1800 and 2009, there are less than 4,000 tigers left in the world. Their confrontation with humans has decreased dramatically, so no one knows how many people have died due to tiger attacks all over the world. After searching, we have got it. Through lightning and the distribution of tigers, we estimate that tigers kill at least 50 to 250 people a year around the world. Maybe tigers kill more people each year than lions. Anatole lives with his parents, wife and Sasha, his five-year-old son, in a small village near the Siberian forest. The young man is a forester. He enjoys hanging out in the forest and practicing his favorite hobby, hunting and taking pictures of animals. The forest around the village where Anatole lives is full of predators, and tigers and wolves are the most dangerous. These animals blocked the way of some villagers and hurt them. The young man was used to participate in the nature photography competition held every year in a city 15 kilometers away from his village. In that year, he participated in this competition and won it. Therefore, he got a high-quality camera. He waited for the winter. When the mountains were covered with snow, he started his journey and took a picture, which gave him the prize he had been looking for 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 years. One day, when Anatole was wandering in the forest, he found a newborn tiger cub. It's so weak. Its mother seemed to have abandoned it, leaving it alone in the forest. The young man took it home but was turned down by his mother. Out of fear, she was worried about the safety of her grandson. Anatole convinced his mother. He said it's a peaceful animal and the cub needed help desperately. Snow covered the ground, which reduced its chances of getting food. The little tiger was so cute and it loved Anatole's son so took care of him. The little boy never left the tiger and played with it all the time. The little tiger interacted with the little boy a lot and often played with him. Over time, the little tiger won the love of all the family members. Everyone approached and petted it. They started keeping it as domestic animal, which is good for Anatole's son. On the other hand, it affected his studies obviously. The boy was always absent-minded and even not paying attention on classes at home because he spent most of his time playing with the tiger. When Anatole noticed that his son's academic performance had declined, he decided to isolate him from the cub and not allow them to spend long time together, but it did not affect their relationship. Anatole's wife kept urging him to release the cub. However, he kept putting the matter on hold because he knew it would be hard for his son to leave the cub. After three months, the tiger got bigger and its tusks appeared. Before Anatole and then his wife found its female, its ferocity had shocked Anatole, his wife and his parents. They're seriously considering sending it back to the forest because it's dangerous. Sasha was shocked by their decision to abandon the tiger. 
One day, when the boy was sleeping, Anatole got up in the morning. After opening the door, he found the tiger had left the cage where it had been held for more than three months. It had gone into the woods to find its family. The tigress was very calm. Anatole watched it leaving and the tiger watched him who had taken care of it for more than three months. When the boy got up in the morning and didn't find the tiger, he was shocked. He worried about it for days. But over time, he forgot about it. Six months after the tiger left, the boy went skiing in the forest with his father. When Anatole went into the forest and photographed the animals jumping between trees and snow, Sasha was skating alone. He lost control of his skateboard and kept skating through the forest until he collided with a tree, and fell. It made him lose consciousness. He didn't wake up until a bird fell on his head. Sasha got up and looked for his father, but he failed. The boy wandered in the woods and then decided to go home. The weather was getting worse and the snow was getting bigger. The snow fell heavily and then all the roads were covered. It's hard to identify the direction. Sasha lay on a tree and stayed there quietly. He was very scared. The boy took a piece of candy from his pocket and ate it because he was hungry. He kept calling his father for help. Suddenly, a huge bear appeared and approached him. The snow kept falling in the forest for a long time. Maybe the bear has been starving for a long time. It's eager for such a great meal. Sasha realized that the bear would eat him without any hesitation. The animal started making scary noises and walked towards him. It walked faster when the boy cried and closed his eyes. He was waiting for the hungry bear to devour him. Suddenly, he heard the sound of fighting among animals. When he opened his eyes, he found a huge tiger and some cubs attacking the angry bear. After being attacked, the bear ran away. Then the tiger came towards him and kept holding him on its head. The little boy realized it's the tiger his father had kept at their home for more than three months. Then he hugged it because he knew it was safe and relaxed with it. At the same time, Anatole found Sasha. When he noticed that Sasha was warming himself with the tiger, he keenly captured this unique scene. He took a photo and then called his son who quickly came to him and hugged him for a long time. On their way home, Anatole and his son noticed the tigress and her cub following them. As they approached the house, they left and disappeared into the woods. They went home after they failed to find them after searching every corners. He remembered the good times he had with tigers. When they got home, they found family members anxiously waiting for them. In the nature photography competition, Anatole showed others the picture of his son embracing a tigress. In the picture, they were in the forest with snow falling on them. The picture surprised everyone and made him win the game. It's well deserved. This photo went viral online, even in some local and international newspapers and on TV. It appeared with drawings and children's clothing. Finally this photo won several national and international awards. Therefore, Anatole earned a lot of money. He would always remember the kindness of the tigress and he's grateful for it although he had never expected it before. Thank you for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right